When Game of Thrones the TV show begins, there are seven major families in the seven kingdoms of Westeros. The Starks of Winterfell, the Arryns of Vale, the Tollys of Riverlands, the Lannisters of Castle Rock, the Tyrells of Reach, the Martells of Dorne, and the Baratheons ruling them all at the capital King's Landing. But how did the Westerosi civilization reach here? About 300 years before the time of the start of the show, the Targaryens from Dragonstone were the last surviving family from Old Valyria. Valyrians were skilled in sorcery and metallurgy, but most importantly, they had found and tamed dragons. Dragons were a monstrous creature with wide wings, sharp scale and fiery breath. They were also known to have deep connection with magic. Aegon Targaryen set his sight on the continent with seven kingdoms that lied west and dreamed of uniting it under one king. He with his two sisters Visenya and Rhaenys flew over the sea in three mighty beasts. They attacked Westeros for the first time in the forts of Harrenhal. The previously thought impregnable fort could not stand the fiery breath of the dragons. Harrenhal fell back into the Targaryen. To stop the Targaryen conquest, the Lannisters of the West and the Tyrells of the South joined forces to meet Aegon and his forces in the field in North Reach. But Aegon unleashed all his three dragons for the first time at the battle, killing more than 4,000 forces of the and the Lannisters. That day was censored as the day of the Flame The Lannister king who survived the battle knelt before Aegon and was made the Lord of Castle Rock, Paramount of the West. The Tyrells were made the Lord of High Garden, Paramount of the South. Iron Stark of Winterfell gathered forces of the North to face the Targaryens. But when he saw the size of Aegon's mighty beast at the Trident, he knelt before Aegon. There is no doubt that the Stark King saved thousands of lives that day, but since then he was forever known as the King who knelt. The Starks were made Lords of Winterfell and Paramount of the North. The Targaryens ruled for centuries in the capital King's Landing until came Aerys II, more commonly known as the Mad King. The rebellion led by the Baratheons and joined by Starks and Arryns met the Targaryens at the Trident. This time, the Targaryen forces were defeated, and Prince Rhaegar Targaryen was killed by the axe of Robert Baratheon. After the battle, the Lannister took their forces and swept King's Landing, killing all the Targaryens, including the Mad King. The leader of the rebellion, Robert Baratheon, succeeded Aerys II in the Iron Throne. And this is where the TV show begins.